what up this is my top pickups in 2023 i've gathered a lot of games a little bit of everything from all genres adventure games rpg games fighting games sports games so let me show you my favorite games that i picked up this year now uh, we're gonna start with the fighting games i got garu monk of the wolves and the last play one and two collection uh, those are japanese imports especially the last play two i feel like uh it's one of my favorite fighting games has aged very good it aged like fine wine the older it gets the better it looks it seems uh, game is also available on ps4 by the way and you want to play online check it out uh, i think it's also most of the time on sale i got myself also in a yasha feudal combat now i must say at the beginning i really like this game because it looks very good for a ps2 title and it gave me some power stone vibe the longer i played this game the less i started to like it because it's really really stiff there are barely any combos you have some destructible environment which is cool and nice story mode is just like um, chapters which uh, multiple characters but you can finish this very quickly and easy yeah i just wanted to mention it here for all the fans who like the naruto fighting games or so and you want to try something new could be something you like um just want to mention here that for me it got boring very quickly but i still want to throw in because it looks very very good for a ps2 game i got myself some uh, few rpg games for the ps2 uh starting with baroque then i got myself the bouncer and i know everybody hates this game but i actually like it and then i got the la Pucelle tactics got this recommended because like uh, i do enjoy the italian games a lot and it has some similarities apparently um i would not really say so but it's still a nice game uh, then i got myself a copy of the seno saga episode 2. this one was originally kind of messed up because it has some stickers on the inlay um luckily those were not those gamestop stickers so i got them removed and the game now looks actually pretty good and i also got dot heck outbreak part 3. now those two games i have not finished uh, this will take some time because uh, I need to play the first game first and here uh, I also have not even played the first game so yeah just got them for my collection for now and then I got myself Star Ocean the second story uh, this got like a soft remake or so um, yeah I got this actually pretty early this year so this is the reason why I didn't pick up the a remastered game that has been released a few days back now but the crisis core final fantasy 7 psp title uh, i think the remake was been released this year as well and my absolute highlight of this year for when it comes to role-playing games was john dark this is one of my favorite games on the playstation portable if you have never played john dark highly recommend it it's an rpg strategy game and uh you know if you're into collecting psp games or you just want to experience something new give it a try i personally enjoyed this one a lot back then the metal gear solid master collection has been released october or so but i got myself for five bucks the legacy collection for the playstation 3 uh, which is a pretty awesome deal it includes all the metal gear solid game from one to four and also the OG Metal Gear games and uh, the Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker game which was released on PlayStation Portable and I also got myself Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence so at the moment I don't think I will need that Master Collection so soon uh, if I find it dirt cheap somewhere I will buy it but this will probably take some time uh, so yeah, I also got myself Castlevania Lemons of Innocence and my very first Tenchu game for the PS2 Now I must I have only played Tenchu on PS1 uh, This is my first Tenchu game on the PS2 and uh, On PS1 the game I believe they don't really have aged that well But on PS2 I must say this game looks actually very very cool uh, I really like the stealth assassinations. Uh, I think I just skip right now with this one a game. There's, I think, another one that I have to pick up. I will definitely pick this up. But Tenchu is amazing. And I'm glad that I can add uh, more Tenchu to my collection. It's uh, Neopets, The Darkest Fairy. Uh, I actually just found this uh, together with another game and was not that expensive. Now, when I tried this, I thought this is gonna be a game that I'm not gonna play for long. 
but uh, it really got into me now it's like an adventure game i think it's also based off an, a cartoon series or so i don't really know nail pets um so you play as this dude here which is called uh, tormund uh, you live in a village and you have to deliver a package for your dad and so when you end up in the city Tor decides to become a knight and you have to do some tests and uh, you're doing you're doing so many fetch quests that at the end uh, the guy tells you well you need to you need a document and your parents need to sign that and you become a knight you have to do a ridiculous amount of training and more fetch quests and it feels like the game is trolling you but it has something that i really can't tell why it's really got into me and i must say i'm spending a lot of hours right now with this game actually pretty good uh, if you're liking adventure games, this is I something can personally recommend. If you have watched my collection videos, you know that I really love sports games and um, I have gathered a lot of sports games this year. Um, from I got Blitz the League and Blitz the League 2. This is actually some very fun alternative American football game. Uh, then I found NCAA 11. 12 is my favorite. I think fan favorite is 14, but 12 I just have spent the most hours with. So 12 for me is my personal favorite. And then I found 2K's alternative, which is all pro football 2K8. Uh, there is barely any license over there, but it's still actually gameplay wise pretty good. It has very smooth animations. Favorite UFC game or a favorite MMA game, which is UFC 3 Undisputed. Had this game also on Xbox, I gave it to a friend, however, but I never got it back, so decided to grab it again for PS3. Found NCAA Basketball 10. I was looking for, or I am looking for, College Hoops 2K8. Uh, that game is my most wanted game right now on PS3, uh, so I'm looking here and there for it uh, for a reasonable price, of course. And while doing so, I found NCAA Basketball 10 for a very good price. So I grabbed this one, International Superstar Soccer Pro 98. If you're watching my uh, collection, you know that uh, I love Konami's football series a lot. And uh, this one must be in my collection. FIFA Soccer 13 and FIFA Soccer 14. Um, not that easy to get especially 14 since this is the very last release playstation 2 game on in the american region so it makes it kind of like collectible and high in price my absolute favorite pickup this year is probably winning 11 10 life revolution I have highlights over highlights over highlights recorded with this game it's the south korean version for me the game feels like tripling goes smoother passing it goes smoother um, but shooting is significantly nerfed in this game. You notice this right away. Uh, shooting it are not OP rockets like it was in previous games. Uh, especially when you're doing free kicks and you are f further than 30 meters. You, don't, you just can't make them so easily or barely anymore. Uh, I think the, the farthest shot that I made was with Roberto Carlos. Uh, but it's actually not that easy to do here. And so yeah, but still. Uh, my favorite pick of this year, winning 11-10 Life Revolution. So this was my favorite games for the retro perspective. I want to mention here before closing the video, my favorite games for modern consoles. My absolute game of the year was not Baldur's Gate 3, no Spider-Man 2, no Alan Wake 2. My favorite game of this year was Lies of P. I'm not really that much into Souls-like games, but uh, this game is absolutely beautiful. I had so much fun with it. It's by far not perfect. There has been also um, some boss fights recycled. I think I mentioned this in my pick up video last time. Sadly, I think if they would have changed that, the game would be even better. But I don't know. I'm currently on my third playthrough. Um, and uh, I just enjoy this game so much, really. I just, I, I, this is definitely my favorite game this year. Another game that I will throw in is Resident Evil 4 Remake, uh, simply because I was one of those people that said, oh, the original game is perfect. We don't need a remake. Why are they making this? But I, uh, I must say this game is uh, far superior than the original game by any means. It's so good. Uh, yeah, and I really love it. And the last game that I want to mention here is a game that surprised me a lot. It's actually a more indie title game available for PS4 as well. It's uh, Clash at Effects of Chaos. 
uh, or you're playing as uh, pseudo, it's a um, martial artist and you have to protect this uh, little kid here. Uh, it's kind of bizarre in a way, you're learning new fighting styles and you have to duel monsters in the world. So if you're looking for an adventure game or so on the PS5, something new, and you were like open-minded for that, just eventually give it a try. It costs brand new, I believe only 25 bucks or so. All right, this is it. This, those are my top pickups of 2023. Compared to last year's video, I think I don't really have that much in high value. I got Marvel vs. Capcom 2 two times for the PS2 and Dreamcast last year. And I think those two games are worth more than the entire stuff that I've shown you. Uh, but nonetheless, um, I do enjoy the games that I picked up this year a lot. And I think those are great games. Uh, I also gave you here some recommendation for modern consoles. And um, yeah, I haven't uploaded a pickup video. And the reason for that is I got sick um, very early this, this month and uh, it took me like two weeks. I also have, must admit that I have a huge backlog and I created a little pile of shame of games that I have to finish first before grabbing more stuff. So I pick a video I'm gonna upload next month most likely. And uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are gonna see you next year. Happy 2024 everybody and uh, Make sure to like and subscribe for more collection of the videos. Thank you, bye.